My name's Sean Conley. I'm a chef and restaurateur, and I love to find out where my food and wine comes from. I'm here at Stoneleigh Vineyards to meet Jamie, the winemaker. He's got some lovely wild fermented wines for me to try and a challenge for me. Okay, Sean, sure, I've got the Stoneleigh Wild Valley Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. which I want you to go out and find some, some great produce, some wild produce to actually match with this wonderful wine. The natural microflora that actually comes from the grapes yeah. actually does the, the work producing this wonderful wild fermented wine. Feeling something kind of earthy and textural. I just can't wait, Jim, to go out there and find something special for this. Gareth, hello. Good morning, Sean. <laughs> Welcome to Limestone Hills. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've heard so much about you. Who's this then? This is Rosie. You're beautiful, aren't you? She's a very important part Good of the team, dog. the truffle finder. I've been sent down by Stoneleigh Wines, the winemaker, Jamie. We've got a wild valley. It's a wild fermented wine to find the wild produce of New Zealand. We'll see what we can do for you. We've got uh, Biancato white truffles, so Ooh. should we go and have a look? Let's go. Well, you don't often find white truffles outside of Italy. I'm really excited to be able to try some today. So, Gareth, how long have you been hunting truffles in this area? Well, we've been here nearly 18 years. We're here because of the limestone, mm -hmm. and the limestone in the soil is something that truffles need. It's also very good for grapes, too. It helps to develop the real complexity of flavours that you get with truffles. Where is it, Rosie? Where is it, miss? Where is it, Rosie? Good girl. Where is it, miss? Rosie, seek. Where is it, Rosie? Where is it, Rosie? Rosie, seek. Rosie, come. Where is it, miss? Under there. Good girl. Good girl. Wow. Look at that. Not a bad truffle, eh? She's done a great job. Good on you, Rosie. Wow, really getting some kind of aromas of garlic off this, some parmesan as well. I can smell, it's got a really earthiness to yeah, it, which yeah. I'm enjoying, the complexity in it. Yeah, it's really, really rich and complex. Mm. I can really see where I'm going to be able to use this truffle. Let's go and cook. So here we are on the limestone hills. You can see here, it's just amazing view, just so delightful. And I'm gonna make some damper with some cheese fondue and white truffles today. So first of all, we're gonna make our, our damper mix. It's one of the easiest, easy spreads you can make. And here we are, we're gonna make our cheese fondue. It's a traditional Italian dish called fonduta. It's kind of like making a cheesy custard. The smell of the truffles and the smell of the wine. And they really do complement each other. You can see now the cheese is starting to melt. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and get my bread. Looks cooked to me. Oh, there's nothing better than warm bread. A liberal serving of cheese. Then we've got some of Gareth's wonderful white truffles. Here you go. Fantastic. Gareth. Have a glass Cheers, of wine. Thank you, sir. This is potentially the poshest cheese and toast we'll ever eat. It's amazing. So there you have it. Complex wines, complex ingredients. I think Gemma's going to be really happy. And what a place to enjoy it. I think we've met the challenge, haven't we, Gareth? We have. We have. <laughs>